Street Food. What's up, Street Foodies? Welcome to the Season 5 episode of Viewer Mail, the episode where I do my best to answer fan questions. I'm going to start with this one because I think it's a great question. You're always telling us to watch out for the parasites, but you never tell us how to do that. That comment has prompted these four suggestions. Number one, eat food that is cooked. A lot of good street food out there is raw, but you are rolling the dice when you eat raw food on the street. Meat that's not quite cooked, vegetables that are not quite washed, these are things that just I do my best to avoid. Number two, make sure it is cooked in front of you. The fresher the food is that you're eating, the less likely it is to make you sick. So these kind of foods, which are cooked but have been sitting out for a long time, may be a little more dangerous than food that is getting prepared right in front of you. Even if the cooking process doesn't look the most hygienic, it's still probably better to eat it fresh than to eat food that's been sitting there for a long time. Number three, if possible, eat at a place that has been recommended to you. There's probably going to be a lot of stalls that sell the same stuff, so go where your friends go. If you don't have any friends, then I'm sorry. Go where there's a long line of people. Number four, if you have a choice, choose a stall that's a little bit removed from the actual street. A pedestrian walkway is a lot better place to eat than right on the corner of the street where there's cars going by. I live in China, it's really dusty, it's really polluted. When cars are going by on the street, that dust is just flying into your food. Sometimes you can't avoid the parasites, okay? So you just gotta decide whether or not it's worth the risk. Sometimes it's worth it, sometimes it is not worth the risk. It depends how good the food is, so how much are you willing to risk? That's really the question you gotta ask yourself. All right, now we're gonna get a little more personal. Catherine asks, are you ever gonna settle down? The longest I've ever lived anywhere in my whole life is six years. So far, I've lived in China almost four years. We're planning on being here at least a couple more uh, before we reevaluate what we're doing. I mean, I guess it depends how you define it, but I pretty much consider myself to have settled down. Ray asked a really great question about why we moved to China and culture shock. It's kind of more than I can get into on this vlog right now, but I did just post an article on streetfoodinternational.com. It's an article that I wrote our first year here for an expat magazine, and it was about the culture shock that we were experiencing. So if you'd like to read more about that, Check out the link below. Devin asks, is there any food that's really repulsive to look at or that smells bad, but that's actually quite delicious? That's a great question. The grossest food, in my opinion, is the food that's still looking at you. You know, so when they serve you a chicken with a head or a fish with a head, anytime I eat fish in China, it comes with a head on it. I'm less inclined to enjoy that experience. They eat durian here. Durian is the stinkiest food that God created, and the only thing worse than the smell, honestly, is the taste. If you're a part of the 0.01% of people on this planet who enjoy eating durian, I feel very sorry for your friends and coworkers. Nevertheless, I salute you and your terribly broken palates. It's time now to give a shout out to my biggest fan. YouTube has a feature now for content creators where you can see who is according to their metrics, the biggest fan of your show, who comments the most, who shares your program the most. So, according to YouTube, my biggest fan is, da 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 da, Alan Branch. Alan has been watching since season one. Thank you, Alan, for snacking along. Thanks to the rest of you street foodies as well. I really appreciate all the shares and likes and, you know, all that social media loving. Alan asks, what is my favorite snack so far? I mean, it's hard to pick a favorite. It depends on how hungry I am, it depends on what the season is, but when push comes to shove, I'll probably go with the old standby, Jian Bing Guozi, aka Bundle of Awesome. It's the very first snack I featured on Street Food. It is still a hit. Andreas asks, what kind of food do you take to local sporting events? Is there anything that's like the equivalent of a hot dog? Andreas, let me answer your question with another question. What sporting events? They don't do that one here. No one I know ever goes to a professional sports match. I don't even know if we have a professional sports team in Xi'an. I don't think we do. Maybe it exists here. I mean, there is a Chinese basketball league, but I've never heard of anyone who's ever been to a game. Elver from Estonia asks, Dear street food boss man, what sort of popular foreign foods do we have here that are not popular in the USA and don't actually come from the USA? My expat friends and I are always on the lookout for products like this. Things that are definitely not Chinese, but also that we've never seen in our home country. We get a lot of them, and I made this series of short videos, they're all under a minute, introducing a few of these products. I'll link them at the end of the video as well. I've also explored this question in a previous episode of Your Mail, so check that out if you want to see some weird potato chips. Andreas, this is a different Andreas, asks, what's my favorite street food to make at home? The Chinese dish I make most often these days is called Shi Hong Shi Ji Dan. It's fried egg and tomato. It's really simple to make, and I'm going to feature it on street food in a couple weeks, so stay tuned for that. That's all for this episode of Viewer Mail. Thanks for being fans of my show. Please subscribe if you haven't already. We're heading to an all-new province in China next week. I'll be back with the beard. See you then. Street food. Thanks again for watching Street Foodies. I appreciate you guys. 
on the left we got those product reviews I was telling you about. They're all really short. Check them out. You can see some weird stuff that we eat in packages over here. And on the right, as usual, we got StreetFoodInternational.com. Check it out.